So you might be wondering, it's a pretty small box, right? How the heck does this fit in there? Well, I'm gonna show you. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Check it out. We have the FMS 1500 millimeter Cessna 182, the brand new, um, right there, Cessna. Uh, this is the blue one, I believe. Um, you can also get it in red, 4S airplane. Uh, just beautiful. Clear cockpit. Look at that. A pilot in there. Three blade prop. I mean, a beautiful color. It has lights. I mean, come on. So there's that. Um, some specs here. So 1500 millimeters, 59 inches, uh, 40 amp ESC, six channel radio. Let's see if it says um, recommended battery. So 4S, 22 to 3200. 25C is all it requires. It's a box it comes in. You might ask yourself, how the heck do they fit a big ass airplane in this tiny box? And to be honest, I'm not quite sure. So we're going to find out. So let's open it up. Have a look at what you get. I'm guessing it's maybe in two pieces, but that I don't know yet. Oh, I see some quick disconnects for the wings. That's super cool. how that comes packaged. So we've got a bunch of tape there. Let me get my knife. We'll cut her loose, but you can see the wings, the blue. I can see we got some cool light on the wing tips there. That, put that, put that. Cut that. Okay. Thought I cut that one. Not very well. Anyway. This is how it comes packaged. Manual right on top. Here's your struts. They're very well labeled. Right, right. I guess we'll find out how that goes. I'm assuming up this side up shows you which side up. This one here is labeled left. So here's a wing. You guys probably can't really tell, but there's actually rivets, scale detail rivets. Here's the fuel um, filler. The, um, I don't know what you call it, corrugated. Linkages are installed. Gotta love that. So these are the, how does that work? On off. So it's got on offs there with the quick disconnects. I'm not sure how that works, but we'll find out. But I love it. And it's got a connector in there, so no hooking up cables. CG mark is on there. I mean, holy moly, guys. This is crazy. You can see the lights on the corners. Gotta love it. This is looking like one of the most amazing ARFs to date. Between being scale and just, you're probably not gonna need any tools to assemble this at the field, is what I'm seeing. Everything comes looking pretty good. Here's your spar, which obviously is going to go in the middle here. But another good big wing. Oh, we got a landing light in this one. Awesome. Plus your position and, and marker lights. Gotta love that. I am stoked to get this baby together. What's here? So there's another little spar in here, most likely for the elevators, is my guess. We'll find out as we get there. Okay, and there's how they do that that interesting how does that connect with that that's pretty cool not gonna lie okay prop oh painted painted tips looks fantastic gear wheel pants are already on it take this little bit in place there they're foam wheels Good looking pants. I'm a sucker for a scale airplane. So in here you've got, we've got some bits. I see we've got some scale antennas. Not totally sure what these other pieces are yet, but we'll find out. Cause I'm gonna show you very detailed how to build this like I always do. If you guys ever lose the manual, my goal is that this will help show you how to do it. So in here is a little thing. <sighs> well, it looks like that's probably goes underneath the gear. Some QC. 
There's going to be your spinner, big chrome spinner, nice pointy guy. And here, well, that, look at that, they've got these on there already. Linkage is hooked up, my goodness. Light in the top, very cool. Okay, and then, so you guys can see what's up here. It's back half of the fuselage. Oh. Oh, I see a screw top and bottom to put that on. Okay, so obviously you're going to have to hook up the elevator linkage, but no big deal. Looks like the antennas, they just clip into place. Don't need any glue or anything for those either. It's amazing. Here we have your nose wheel. Again, foam. Hey, it actually absorbs. Good. And that's it, other than this. Oh, no, my bad. There's an elevator in there yet. <laughs> Let me get the elevator out of the back here. What's it look like? Eh, not too bad. Make sure you guys always work your surfaces, free them up. But I see it's got a quick disconnect thing of some sort there too. I'm curious to see how that's all going to work. We'll find out. Again, it's got panel lines, it's got rivets, it's got the corrugation. Very nice, very, very nice. And then obviously the main attraction. I love the scheme on this, it looks fantastic. Oh, it's got exhaust, cowl flaps, a couple more antennas. It's got a mesh inlet. Wow. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there is actually, there's hinges for the door, panel lines, rivets, the whole shebang, very cool. And I do believe that's it. Nothing on the bottom. Okay, let me uh, make some sense of what I got going on here and we'll get onto the build and show you how to assemble this baby. I'm excited. So step one in the manual has you grabbing the rudder and um, there's a little zip tie on these. I clipped those to get those loose. You need to feed these up through out the front of this tailpiece, which has a hole there. And then you can drop this down into place. There is some double-sided tape up on here. And then you'll see there's a hole there that the spar will go through and hold that into place. And then the front will actually tab in and lock into place there. And that's what's going to hold this in. So I'm going to feed my wires. So I don't know if you guys have seen in my other videos, I've got this piece of wire with a loop on it. It's pretty handy because I can just feed it through there hook these wires onto it and pull them out the front. So that's what we're going to do here. I know you guys probably can't see it very well, but um, get those guys hooked on there. Pull them out the front. Oh, we lost one in the process. Where's it at? There it is. Just like that. Okay. So those are in there. I'm just going to keep a little pressure on them as I put this into place. Actually, let's pull this tape off here. And keep this going alongside of that so it doesn't stick into the tape. Key in the front. And then this will push down in to there. There it goes. A little wiggle wiggle. Get her down in there so you can get the spar hole in there. And that's that. Got your wires out the front. Everything is good. Next thing they want you to do is put the horizontal on. And that's going to be as simple as the spar. This pulls apart. So this clip, when you push on this, it rocks this up. And that's what's going to tab into here. There's a little finger that locks into there. So that's that. But um, so we're going to put the spar through the hole. So I think that's going to be the trickiest part. There we go. So I get that about centered and then I'm going to hold it in place as I put this in to make sure it kind of stays into place like such. And then I'll kind of do the same. It's just my own peace of mind, right? Just to make sure it stays in there. 
Make sure everything keys in. Looks like they're keying in. There we go, it clicked. And that's it. So the only thing left to do on the tail is to hook up your linkage. I'm gonna wait until the radio is hooked up to finish that, but there you go, guys. No real tools. <laughs> Gotta love it. These guys knocked it out of the park here. So next step will be uh, putting this onto the back of the fuselage. So you're gonna hook up your wires and then you're gonna get a screw and put it in one from the top and one from the bottom. It says here a three by 10. So I'm assuming it's gonna be these longer ones here, but we'll find out here in a minute. And these are labeled, so these there's a couple of them that say lights, and then you got rudder and elevator. So rudder to rudder, elevator to elevator, make sure you get your color codes right. Brown to brown. Okay, locked in. Here's the elevator. Make sure the color codes are right. Lock that in. And then the light, two light ones. There's a spar which locks in up in there as well, as you can see, but... All right, so you want the black and reds to black and reds, so to speak. Okay, that one's in there. Okay, there, that one went really good. I don't think I got this one in there quite right yet. There it goes, now it clicked. Okay, just kind of feed those up in there. Actually, we can feed them into the tail, probably be the best, as we're putting the fuselage in. I'm just going to get the screws and put those in, and uh, that'll pretty much do it. Just give it a little double check snug. That one's good. I will say one thing nice too, where these screws go in and the landing gear that I see, it goes into, you can see metal inserts. So you're not going to be stripping out plastic or anything like that. Um, so pretty awesome. So speaking of, landing gear is the next thing to go on. So we'll just go ahead and get that there. Landing gear in place. Got to get it so it looks like they fit inside. Okay, so you see how I did that. Then this piece here looks pretty much the same on each side. So we'll find out. Maybe not. It is not. There you go. So there's a front and back to that. So that's how that goes on with four more of these 3x10 screws. So these would be the bigger ones like so. And it doesn't say anything about the nose wheel yet. So I'm going to get these put in there. Okay, next thing in the manual. As you flip it over. Um, so for the hatch to come off guys you push this button and that'll release the hatch. I mean look at the yokes and the panel in that. How cool is that? I know it's pretty cool. And here is this so there's one little Phillips here and we'll take this tray out because that's where it looks like everything is going to be. So that's how you're going to hook up the nose wheel steering comes through there so that's probably why they have you do that. Clear a little space here with the wires. All right, so you're gonna need your nose wheel. So this is threaded in the top. From your parts here, you're gonna need your nose wheel linkage. So that is gonna fit into the slot on the nose wheel servo there, like so. And then you're gonna put another three by 10 screw down into the bottom of this. And that's your landing gear. So get this in there. Get that on there. 
get the slot in there so push that together okay and then a screw really can't get over how easy the assembly is on this thing I absolutely love it don't forget guys links down below in the description for everything I use in my videos if you're interested in one um, go ahead and use my link it's free to you um, don't forget I also have discount code so you can get a discount on this or many other airplanes from FMS just by using my code again it's free to you hey it stays on its wheels it's free to you helps you out helps me out to win-win I really love this because I used to be partners in a 172 which I know is not the same but it's close enough um, so scale stuff pretty awesome to me the next thing in the manual here it wants you to put the wings on I'm gonna put the receiver in it first since we're here um, before it gets too big and clumsy so let me get set up for that and we'll be right back all right so I went ahead and um, I got it bound up to my AR620 and I just happen to have a Reflex V3 laying around. So this is the new Bluetooth one. Make sure you check out my video if you got one. By all means, um, let it rip. So the throttle has this other channel I'm assuming is for reverse. Um, I'm not going to use it because I don't have enough channels on this six channel here using this, but um, that's okay. So. Um, if you do, you can plug that in, but I don't, I don't really predict needing reverse unless you're going to be on maybe on cement or something with curbs or something sketchy like I've done, but today we're not going to need it. But anyways, I had to reverse the elevator so far. Other than that, everything is going the right way. So what we're going to do next is um, get the wings on, or first we're going to get the elevator linkage on because we didn't do that yet now that everything is centered, and then we're going to put the wings on. Elevator linkage hooked up. So one hole in and then onto the ball link. That cures that. Now we'll get the wings on. And we'll check the throw on those. Okay, so for the wings, you're going to need a spar. Put that in. Then you're going to need one of your wings. So push the latches, push the on, and they'll pop up. So that way the little hooks aren't down and then you can feed them on. And then you can push them down. There we go. And then reach underneath there and lock them in. Okay. Then repeat for the other side. So on. First time things are always snug. Just kind of rock them in there, get them to go. There we go. And clip the latches into place. Very cool. That takes care of that. Now, let me flip it upside down here. We'll put the struts on. Okay, for the struts, looks to me like the arrows will be pointing back the way you're going to slide it. Kind of get it in place here, push it back. Okay, get that wire under there. And they lock up, the fairings fit very nice. Do the same to the other side. I know you can't see it, but. There we go, there we go. Good, super easy. Okay, there's the struts. Again, no tools, guys. Okay, right, so let's go ahead and plug in our battery again. Let's see which way the flaps and ailerons go today. There it goes. I think it's moving too much. I'll get it mounted and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so ailerons need to be reversed. There we go. Okay. Um, flaps. Flaps work great. Sorry, you guys can't really see it. And I know this, it's a big airplane. I'm gonna slow those down, obviously. So I'll get this situated and mounted and uh, go from there. We've got some super bright lights here. Let me make this to where you can see them. Let 
Then obviously on the other side, the green flasher. We've got the landing light in the wing. We've got the tail. Very bright, very cool. Pretty stoked. But there's really not much left other than, um, so these antennas, same deal, they just have little little notches on them and they just slide in place like so. I'm a sucker for scale details. The absolute cool thing about these though guys is you can take them off when you go home and you don't have to worry about breaking them off, right? You can put them somewhere, which is always a bonus because who hasn't broke a pedo tube off of something else? Something else I just noted for the amazing scale details guys. Look, it's got the little air inlets or the I don't think that's for the stall horn. Someone can correct me there, but I think that's for the air for the in the cockpit. But anyways, let me get her buttoned up. We'll be back. So here's what I did. I put the reflex here. The receiver I stuck down underneath there, if you guys can see it. Uh, we'll obviously do a range check and make sure that that's kosher um, and go from there. So the next thing you'll do is you're going to button it up with your tray is going to go into here. Let's see, that went in this way. You're going to screw that down. Get your, got to get your leads coming around the side here. There's a little bit of a gap on the side, and um, that way you're not pinching them. There we go. Get that down in place. Put the screws in for that, and uh, this is obviously where your battery is going to go. So we'll get the prop on. The prop will go on. Got a washer. Oh, sorry, I forgot the back plate. So we'll take your spinner. Stuck together pretty good. There it goes. So back plate goes on. It has a hex on it, so it keys into a certain spot here on the shaft. There we go. Then, prop and spinner. So the prop fits in, you can see how it's kind of curved to fit the prop, that's what's going to hold it. The washer, then the spinner, holder. Well, it's not even that on this one, I don't think, is it? How does that stay in there? Oh, this just snaps into place, okay. So get that good and tight. Then this will clip in, holding that into place. There we go. That looks fantastic. It's going to look good spinning with all them colors. Um, after that, yeah, do your CG, check your throws, and uh, do your range check. All right, guys, I've got the throws all set. Um, CG, first place I tried the battery worked perfect, so nothing wrong with that. Um, here's what they look like. So the high rates, so this would be the max you want to use for elevator is 24, low is 20. So here's what your high rate will look like. And high rate for the aileron is 18, minimum or low is 16. So here's a high rate on that. Rudder, I just leave it 100% and add some expo. And uh, that's pretty much what everything's going to be on this one for me. So flaps down. Um, CG marks underneath here where my battery wound up was what do we got here just a little bit back from the front. I know I didn't put the straps on it yet because I'm not totally um, I didn't put the straps on it yet because I'm just kind of fiddling with it to see where it would lie and that's where it would lie. So about about one finger back from this former here. So other than that, guys, I'll do a range check, and um, if it passes that, then it's time to go fly. So next time you're going to see this beautiful machine, we'll be at the flying field, which hopefully will be tomorrow morning, and you're going to see a maiden. So like, comment, subscribe, check out the links down below. Don't forget I got discount code, save you guys a bunch of money, and uh, it's free to you, helps me. I appreciate you guys watching this. We'll see you at the field.